Hi study buddies, so today I'm going to share my experience on how I got a 36 full score on the ACT math portion. And I'm also going to go through a few tips on how you can improve your own ACT math score. So I wanted to make this video for quite a while since a lot of people on my Tumblr asked for it and one of the main reasons why I was afraid to make this video was because I see that a lot of videos like this where the person talks about their scores get a lot of hate and I promise 100% I'm not trying to brag about my score in any way. I'm just here to help the people that want to improve their math score. Also, I just want to preference this before we go on, it's going to be hard to raise your ACT score in a week or two and honestly takes a good solid month of practice to get a few points more. But it's not impossible to raise your score by a lot. So for example, I took my first ACT test back in September. I did okay on it, not really what I was reaching for, but I got a 28 on the English score. But fast forward 5 months in February, I took the ACT again and I got a 35 on the English score. I improved 7 points in a span of 5 months. So the first thing you need to do is practice. So if you haven't done this already, print out and do a few of the official practice tests that ACT has previously released. There are so many amazing online resources that you can use like 24 to 34 test prep, which I really recommend. I personally tried it out and it really helped me a lot on the whole ACT test. And if you do check it out, you can use my code STUDYWITHINSPO for 5% off. Plus, the whole online course is just $25 online courses like 24 to 34 are really going to help you better understand the test and give you essential tips on boosting your score. I didn't really use any other substitute like Barron's or other books. I mainly just used the official ACT prep guide that ACT sells you and also the online course. But you can find almost every single previously released ACT test online. Again, I really just recommend practicing a lot. My regimen was basically taking one full practice test every week, so just spend those three to four hours on the weekend taking a practice test. And side note, just don't cram. Taking one practice test a week will really help you in the long run. And if you are getting around a 27 on your first practice test, then you are primed to get a high 30 something on the real test if you keep practicing. So the second thing I want you to know is that everyone has their own goal. Please do not compare yourself to anyone else because if you do, that just puts yourself in a bad headspace. Your goal might be a 30, your goal might be a 20. There's no shame in reaching whatever score you think is good. And I know because I did this a lot, I remember reading YouTube comments where a person is like complaining that they got a 34 on the ACD test and that really buns me out. But you have to just realize that that person was reaching for a 36 and that's why they weren't happy. So just try not to worry about other people's goals, it'll just make you unmotivated and more stressed. So now let's get into the math portion of the math test. Calculators. I used a Casio FX115 scientific calculator. You do not need a graphing calculator to do well on the ACT math portion at all. I actually think using a graphing calculator will slow you down because of how complicated some features are, but if you are in the market to get a good calculator for the ACT, get the Casio FX115. I think it's just around $10. I do really, really recommend it. I personally do not like the TI scientific calculators because it lacks some essential calculations slash methods that would make the math portion easier. That being said, if you do have a TI scientific, you should be fine. So the fourth thing that I want you to grasp is that you have to know how the test is going to work. The test doesn't involve any calculus or stats or whatever, it's just basically algebra and geometry. So after taking two or three practice tests, you should know that the harder problems are always in the back, so if you think time is on your side, be warned. Time is a really big issue for most people, but again, it really comes down to how much you practice. So the math portion is 60 minutes for 60 questions. That doesn't mean you should do one question per minute. What I recommend is to be at least 8 to 9 questions ahead of time. So for example, at the 10 minute mark, you should at least be on question 18 or 19. If you're at the 20 minute mark, you should be 29, 28, around there. This gives you a really good cushion if you get stuck on a hard problem and also by the time you finish you should at least have 5-4 minutes to check your answers. 
So if you can't figure out how to do a problem, skip it as soon as possible. Use your judgment, try not to spend over a minute for one problem, it's better just to miss one question than wasting time. Also, I'll leave a link down below for a formula sheet that you should really really memorize before the test. Usually the formulas that you need to memorize are really simple because ACT gives you the harder formulas on the test. But I'm not going to go over everything about the ACT math test, you'll definitely figure it out once you have taken a few practice tests. So the fifth thing that I want you to know is that you have to time yourself while you take practice tests. Time is key. If you do not finish, you're basically screwed. So whenever you take practice tests, make sure you time yourself. Since you only have 60 minutes to finish everything, I used to try to finish everything within 50 minutes or 55 minutes. This gives you a lot of time to check your answers before you turn in your test. So eventually after I think I took 10 practice tests, I was able to finish the math portion within 50 minutes before the time ended. So those are my main essential tips on how I reached a 36 on the math portion. There are many more ways to improve your score, but I think the 5 tips I gave you can help anyone just improve their score at least a little bit. To sum it all up, there is no magic solution or cheat to improve your score. It just comes down to how much you practice and how much you get the concepts. I hope this video motivates you to practice a little bit more so you can get a higher score. And make sure to give this video a like, it took so long to put in those little animations, so I would really appreciate if we can get this video to 3000 likes. That would be so awesome. And make sure to subscribe and click the notification bell because I post videos every week on a variety of topics. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!